What's up, everybody? Finally, uh, gonna be doing a review of the Slipstream. Devious Designs, made by Eric Levy. 2017, prototype number two. As you can see, quite a bit of grinding on it. I love the shape. I love the design. I love the weight. Your thumb almost fits there too. Had that been taken out a little bit better, it would almost fit right there, you know, right where you need to be. Anyway, first thing I noticed right out of the, as soon as I pulled it out of the box, was the weight and this steel has a different kind of feel to it. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, I can't remember what steel it is. I know it's not a normal type of throwing steel. I'm not sure. Hopefully Eric will uh, clear that up after I post the video. But it just has a different feel. Like most of the knives I have are made from saw blades. And uh, right away, it just, it, I don't know, it's, it's really hard to explain. Anyway, um, love the shape of it. It's got a nice false edge on it. Let's see if I get to focus here. But as the grind goes down, it actually gets sharp. Focus. It's got a really aggressive tip. Uh, I threw a lot of no spin in my garage, which it's only, you know, about 14 feet maximum I can throw. It's about 17 feet long, but I didn't want to throw any half spin in there, mainly because I hadn't thrown this too much, and I have, I have foam down in there which I used to have carpet on top, which helps slow the blade down if you get a ricochet or whatever, but I didn't want to mess up this tip because it has it's pretty aggressive and didn't really get to test how aggressive it is or how resilient the steel is because I didn't really hit anything too sharp. The tip's still really, really good. Much more aggressive than any other knives I have. And actually, this is probably the best knife that I have right at the moment for sticking. I mean, it sticks very deep. Anyway, what I was saying, I didn't want to throw a half spin in the garage because it has this little bit of a, a lip on it, which I love it aesthetically, but for half spin, I always hold, I like a smooth spine. But I brought it outside, you know, inside, I can only throw to about right here. But out here, depending on how you throw, my opinion is each knife has a stock half spin throw. And I'm talking about slow spin, instinctive. Uh, if, I'm not sure if that makes any sense, but I have a certain way that I throw, and if I throw each knife that I have that same way, it will vary a little bit as far as, you know, four meters or five meters or, you know, whatever. You don't have to put anything on it. You don't have to put any extra, any flip or slide or anything. But anyway, I come out here in my yard after it was a nice day and I got a chance to come out here and throw some half spin, immediately this thing throws at five meters stock. Nah, that was horrible. I shouldn't have thrown a sidearm. Okay, I'll throw over here. And because of that hump, give me a little extra room. Man, that thing went deep. Damn. Do that again. So anyway, with that extra hump, it really adds distance to your stock, your default half spin distance. Default, yeah, that's what I'll call it. And then anything further, you'd have to either choke up or change your release or whatever. Let's see if I can get a, a six meter hold a little bit more instead of having it right here on that hump I'm gonna move up a little bit still too much spin now for anything much further I'll probably go sidearm man that's different holding the camera I tell you that's not gonna work 
There we go. Six meter overhand. <laughs> totally missed the target, but anyway, that was a poor demonstration. But so we'll go into no spin. This thing's a beast. Start off three meter. I need a GoPro. Body camera. There's a dead straight one. That was four meter. meter and I enjoy throwing it from the spine uh, Taylor threw it from the belly which doesn't really have too much this curve here doesn't really add too much of a difference other than if you throw a little bit weird since this is not centered through the center of the, the knife, it may cause it to twist, which there isn't a whole lot of difference. Taylor had no problem with it. He doesn't really throw knives, no spin very much. He's the uh, no spin world champion with uh, Bo Shuriken. But uh, the main thing, the only, the only real criticism that I have is that you rounded this. And of course you do that, so if you were ever to strike have another knife strike it it wouldn't burr and it would be smoother to ricochet off it or whatever but for no spin I like to have a really flat spine and this is wide had you left that there oh it would just been perfect but even because it's so wide it, I don't really have a problem with my finger sliding left or right or anything let me go for a seven meter here terrible throw But anyway, that's, that's the only real criticism that I have, Eric. It's a beautiful knife. You did a very good job. I'm not really sure if you're wanting to sell these or whatever, because man, I can tell you to put a lot of work into your knives and you would have to sell them for, I don't know. I, I'd hate to put a price on it, but I'd say this is like a hundred dollar knife, man. Cause I know it took some time and you'd have to make a set of three unless you're selling them singular, which I hate owning just one knife. I gotta have a set. But uh, I'll let a few of the other guys throw it, man. They, they really loved it. Everybody had a really good time with it. Um, yeah, man. Thank you so much. I'm really honored that you chose me or us, the Full Tang Clan, to try this out. <laughs> I'm really kind of confused because you this is a no-spin knife, and I'm not really known for no-spin. And, uh, yeah, man, you hit it. I mean, I love it. I've had so much fun. The first couple days I threw this, I threw it for hours and hours and hours and just went on a complete no spin binge and my arm is still feeling it two weeks later. But uh, thank you so much, man. Uh, I'll be contacting you soon. Full Tank Clan, danger out. <laughs>